Bonsoir to the monde. Welcome back to Tom Play's Europa Universalis 4 for absolute beginners. We are back with France and <laughs> facing the aftermath of a very long war in India. So we've got these particularists to deal with. Uh, we've got a colonist who isn't doing anything, which you never really want. Not while there's anywhere left to colonise. So I'm actually going to go deal with that while the particulars are being put down in London because I don't believe there are going to be any issues. Right, so that will be because we just formed French Mexico. Seriously thinking we should be relying on subsidies now though. I'm a little worried about Mexico because they're quite small and there's some fairly solid empires nearby but at the same time yeah, you should be here we really ought to be spamming this area if we possibly can, good we've won right so how are we going to do this I want to bring all three colonists to bear down here if Possible. There's quite a few islands actually that we still haven't settled. Okay, I'm going to start a colony up here. We need to try to get someone up here. In theory, we're looking at the Pacific Fleet if we can find them, which are these. Despite being in the middle of the ocean, they do seem to be in fairly good health. So right, let's send you up there. And as soon as the new Canadian province finishes, wherever they've gone, I'm going to try and relocate this army as well. Because we really need to rely on subsidies as France, not on directly helping. There you go. Have a massive subsidy. Okay, right. So we now need to think about taking them down. They are on a castle. They are at least comparable to us. So let's just go for it. the rebellion put down. Shouldn't need to go there because there's a castle there already. But eh, it just makes me feel better. Right, okay, we've lost one of our claims against Brazil. In fact possibly all of our remaining claims, which is fine for now. I think if we build a university in London first, it gives us an extra building so we can then build a manufactory. So I'm gonna build a university in London. I don't think the Enlightenment has hit yet, has it? No, next one is Enlightenment, so that will start anywhere there's a university. We may even get to set it off. Which would be nice. Right, what else did we need to do? Colonists are all busy. We were setting up to attack the Holy Roman Empire, although this manpower pool is making me think twice. We need to pay back all of these loans and keep putting down rebellions, so that's fine. So the next thing I was kind of thinking was castles, but it's whether we want to risk a castle. So I'm just going to give him a general because that's where the next rebellion is going to appear. Sorry, talking of abstractive mind. It's not whether we want to risk a castle, it's whether, um, whether we'd rather hold off until we've paid the loans off, is what I'm thinking. Because we've got a lot of money coming in at the moment, but every castle we build is obviously going to cost us money, more money than we currently have. 
so might hold off for a bit longer at risk of forgetting it yet again. <sighs> right, okay. So that means we've got another colony. So I think... Oh, brilliant. We've finally uncovered New Zealand. I'm assuming you're subsidised. You're not subsidised. Right, let's knock your subsidies up a lot as well. We really need to push any nations who are... Let's build a colony here as well. I'm going to go for the big land masses because then we don't need to worry about the navy as much. We need to push any nations that are in a position to colonise with some decent level subsidies. We already did French La Plata. Most of the others aren't in a position to subsidise us. Subsidise us? What am I talking about? Aren't in a position to colonise. Uh, French Alaska is. Okay, what have we got? Brilliant. So... Two options, throughout the nation gives us admin power and further on our borders gives us prestige. We do have quite a lot of prestige. It's obviously going down, but I'm thinking let's just take the admin power for now. Okay, the Harmony Separatists have arisen. Hang on, who's this? Noble Rebels. We don't care about Noble Rebels. That's their problem. Okay. Put the Separatists down. Hopefully that will knock down our final bit of major discontent. And we can now hopefully subsidise French Alaska. A bit higher than usual into the threes. Also worried about French California because they haven't really grown. So we're going to want to start subsidising them as well. Brilliant. So that's going to seriously slow us down on paying back loans. Right, we'll move back to Paris. Navy can probably stay there. Huge differences here, are they? Well, we'll head back there anyway. It's got a river. Probably isn't any help, but uh, it'll do. Okay, cool. So the Harmonies are obviously having major problems, as we, of course, because we both just had a massively long war. You yeah, see, this shouldn't matter. They shouldn't be interested in us. So, first colonial army, you need to go to the first colony to appear, which is going to be up here somewhere. I need to keep an eye on this because we can't actually land. Unless it's somewhere nearby that we can land, I suppose. I suppose it might make more sense. Elephants. Might make more sense to actually send them here just in case we forget because then they will be automatically offloaded. If I could even send them there. Nobles ally with foreign power. Who have they upset? Oh, Milan. Ooh, yeah, definitely going to go for that one. It's maybe nobles. Disloyal, but hopefully not for long. I think they only need to get above 30. Okay, pretty sure Provence can handle that. That's good. Let's see if we can some of the diet. Change to coffee. Finished making nice in Bohemia. That was mostly... Yeah, we've got a few years before we can use that again. That was mostly in preparation for attacking the Holy Roman Empire. Be a great time for Austria to go to war with someone. <laughs> <sighs> a 
never mind. Right. What else do we have? Let's try to make a few more of these. Baroque music. Yes, we should definitely do that. It'll help stop our prestige from decaying too much. Which is always desirable. Okay, we had lost all our claims on Brazil, I believe. So let's start making some more. Because if there's one thing the episode before last taught me, it's that you never know when they might suddenly attack you and you might wish you had a whole bunch of claims on them. Which means that that should... Come on. Oh, is this... This is Milan, isn't it? Okay, so let's start building a spy network in Milan again as well. I was thinking we'd go for Great Britain. Oh, well, we still might. We've got a new diplomat back in a few days. Yeah, let's build a spy network there as well for the same reason as Brazil, just in case they attack. I need to attack Spain and the Holy Roman Empire before I get back to attacking either of those. And we really need our manpower pool to be above zero before we attack anybody. Okay. Okay, let's just spin on a bit. Oh, that's good. Right, so we've called a whole bunch of provinces. Hopefully means we're now making more money. We actually do want to make these cores because they are ours. Austria has just declared war. Ooh, that's tempting. See, they would still join in at this point, and the Ottomans would not. Particular should be fine. I'm wondering about Holland simply because they have colonies over in Canada. So it might be a really good opportunity to increase the size of French Canada if we attacked them. And attacking Austria directly would give us more... More allies. The allies really aren't that impressive looking. Actually, I should double check those because some of them may become enormous. They might not normally be that big. I await the discovery that Crete is now a massive empire. <laughs> and maybe they're willing to join in, to be honest. Uh, I don't think Barden's too big, is it? Around there somewhere, I'm sure. Okay, I'm not sure. You think I know Germany better than that? <sighs> okay, that's... I mean, I'm bigger, but not terrifying. There's Barden. Also not terrifying. Yeah, a lot of these aren't actually that worrying. Just a shame our manpower is so terrible. Because I don't think the war they've got involved with is particularly big. So I just have to hope we don't get any more imposing allies before we can get some manpower back. We can't be far off. I think it was just those last uprising. It's probably just this army. I really hope they know what they're doing. I don't want to lose any of our colonial nations right now. 
I'd really rather they focused on colonizing. Mamlukian Australia, excellent. The Mamluks are uh, colonizing as well, right, fair enough. Okay, so that army's gone down a fair bit. Shouldn't be a huge problem. I mean, it's there for defense, not for attack. So let's just move them across to the first colony, which was this one. Hopefully, if no one else is colonizing, they should be able to do three before needing the ships again. Uh, covered weight, yep. Yeah. Let's go for it. So that colony is now defended. Hopefully that army will recover. And I think we need to... Yeah, we need to pick this up. As well. Tea production. Okay, French Peru. Pretty sure we've already taxed them. Peru, 19. Yes, we've already taxed it. Leave it be. we we'll still gain some monarch points. So that is no bad thing. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> That's perfect. The more good things that can happen at the moment, the better. Things do feel a little precarious. Right, brilliant. Let's keep on with this. Uh, I do not want to meddle personally. Especially because it's going to cost me money. Right, so this is down to the war. I would rather ease the tax burden. We do, we're still gaining a lot of money despite all the subsidies and things. I mean, it's not huge, but yeah, I think we can afford it and we really need manpower more than money, despite the loans. Ah, brilliant. Just need them to finish repairing. Awesome, right, so I'm going to start you off on this island. So I'm sort of working in towards the middle here. We've got a colony there, colony there, colony up top. Going to try to conquer, well, colonise as many of these islands as we can. I usually find more of them are taken than are taken now. I think this is a side effect of us having declared war on all and sundry. Seriously damaged. Spain and Great Britain, regional nobility in Norfolk. Uh, hmm. Yeah, we're not doing badly for our up in power. I'm going to reform society. Okay, so that should be fine. It's just that we need to move this army across to here when this colony appears. But apart from that, we're good. All things considered, I think I should try and push up with stability again. Which is fair enough. And we are absolute outsiders here. Although to be fair, <laughs> the Harmonist isn't having a great time either. Alright, VJ Anagara is uh, taking the opportunity to fight back. Which is actually fantastic for us, it's like divide and conquer, like what the Romans tended to do. But yeah, we just need to focus on holding our new lands. Access from Milan. You go 
guys have no idea how numbered your days are. Okay. Right, so let's get our final army into place. Rising. Okay. I think that must be the Spanish Australia. Tierra Austral. Australia? <laughs> Not totally sure. Definitely gonna need castles over here. Still, what can you do? Now there's always going to be a bit of a fight to hold these lands. Right. We're getting kind of head on our claims again now. Oh, the enlightenment is hit. And we once again did not start it. That is really getting annoying. <laughs> I'm sure we've been quite unlucky with these. Uh, research, that's fine. Budget deficit. Financial reforms. So I can remove him or I can get better. All right, okay. I might include his excellent work. Even though that's going to cost me admin power again, getting back up to stability 3. Don't care. Whatever it takes to rebuild the country right now. Okay, so France Antarctique is actually in a pretty good state, I think. Let's just... I mean, ideally, we could do with being able to reach across here. Little and debatable how achievable that's going to be though. So I might just try and fill in some of the gaps. Also want to push things down in South Africa. Not necessarily as concerned about the value of a province as I am about just solidifying control. Okay, Great Britain. Where should we want to take in Great Britain? Oh, Northumberland. Yeah, excellent. Let's go for Northumberland. And we also want to fabricate a claim on... Can we fabricate a claim on British Columbia? We can't. We need to do that directly. Which is fine. So... Which way should we go? Along the coast or along the... <laughs> go along the coast. Okay, well that's good. We've got a couple of claims anyway on Great Britain and Brazil in case they declare war on us. Let's start on Milan again. Apparently there is nowhere we can make a claim on in Milan. I don't learn. Right, so even though we lost claims in Milan... Uh, I tend to go there in just for hours, even though it costs us. So even though we lost claims in Milan, we still have full claims, apparently. Which is confusing. But, fair enough. Oh, Gain prestige, allow him to go his heart, Mrs. I will go for your administrative power. That would have given us free stability. Which is a drawback of being too willing to go to stability 3 manually. Because we spent far more admin power than we just gained there. But then my. I'm just still a bit antsy with the aftermath of the war. A lot of these guys are either colonies or Indians. So Indians is fine. We know we have a group there.
This on the other hand is not fine. Why is Lenape conquering Florida? Where is Lenape? I think I might have to enforce peace. I don't really want to. Part of me feels like Florida could afford to lose some land. Wouldn't be like the end of the world. I can't understand how they managed to get into such a mess. I'm gonna give them some money to start with. What are you guys doing? And where's your enemy? Go Nortian. Alright, I see. Yeah, they've really got problems. Really got problems, right. I'm gonna have to do a find to find Lenarte. Because I do not have a clue where they are. Alright, oh, okay. Right, I'm going to try and enforce peace. Ah. Okay, Lenape was a defender. Okay, not much I can do then. Got Switzerland already was a... Uh, Now we've lost the conquest caster spell against Milan. This has really started to confuse me. How could we have had no possible claims on Milan and yet have lost our... <sighs> Fine, let's start building the spy network again. Well, at least we're making progress, even if our colonies are going insane. I need a conquistador to explore this area, which is not fine. Can actually send the colonist here anyway. In fact, I just send them on our camp. Nope, still need to explore that area. That's fine. No big problem. still willing to join in though. Not my line. Yeah, there's a lot of allies. I'm actually seriously wondering if we should go need number. We should go and pick up our army from South America because I seriously didn't feel like they were even needed in the last war. So I might bring them back to Europe, because I honestly don't think, I think South America can manage. Obviously it might be different if Brazil attacks, which is entirely possible, but... In the meantime, we kind of need the armies ourselves. Going to attack Austria. Ooh, what do you guys think we should do? Magnificent House of Worship again. Neighbours in Congo. Well, that's tempting, but no. And fertile area well suited for colonisation. West Sylvania. Well, it's tempting.
We would rather be counting on Florida to actually do it though, wouldn't we? And they have quite a lot of options in terms of places to colonise. Not that optimistic about it working, I think. Then it's probably worth it for a settler chance, isn't it? Let's risk it. I'll give them a nice big subsidy and maybe they'll colonise it, and if not, maybe I will colonise it next time I have a free colonist. Why not? They probably need the subsidy to put down this rebellion anyway. Okay, French Louisiana still exists. That's good. French Mexico still exists. No sign of colonising. French California still exists. French Alaska still exists. They all seem a little bit precarious. In fact, French Canada actually seems less precarious than the others now. Right, they are in a war with Darfur, Hauser and Cap, that's fine. We should certainly give them our support. They are our most important ally. Don't know how much help we're going to be. But, um... We'll see. Darfur and Hauser, I think that's more towards India. Checking out. Oh, it's Africa. Sorry. Checking out how the world looks. Interesting. Yeah, kind of a shame we don't have any um, troops up there, really. <laughs> Could use some. <sighs> Never mind. I don't think we're going to be much help. They'll probably just take some of our lands. And you never know, the Dongo might do something. Maybe some of our colonial nations will send ships ridiculous lengths to uh, help the Ottomans out. Okay, how many can you take at once? 55, so we can certainly load all of our troops on. I suppose we could actually land these guys in Africa. We give ourselves a good general. Oh, let's use a Julie again. Okay. Super cheap or plus three? Well, all things considered. No, no, we can afford plus three. Let's go with plus three. Much as I want to get loans repaid. Yeah, we are being attacked. Might actually do something about that then. Can we afford to repay anything? We cannot. Sadly. Okay, let's take you straight over there. Need an agreement. No, this is Britain, isn't it? Uh yeah, we don't really care what they think of us. I don't think we should sign it. Okay, we lost about 50,000 claims. Probably it was something to do with a mission that was temporary. Which is a shame. Well, really, we had so many um, claims. OK, 
Okay. Alright, fine, fine. Okay, so we've got an uprising. Our army's taking a severe beating just from the voyage. Okay, that's probably good because we probably sell it. <laughs> so yeah, this war is going to be kind of interesting because we obviously don't want to fight the fight Austria while the Ottomans are occupied. Spain while this army is occupied. It looks like we finally lost a Julie. Okay. Yes, I know Darth is occupied. Cameroon. Who? I think I'll ignore you. Rather conscious that we're losing money already. Too worried about putting down rebellions if we need to. I'm sure they are. <laughs> it's definitely not going to be one of the most interesting episodes. This is, even though there is technically a war happening, it's not our war. Right. time. Probably can't, but basically we probably need to build some more castles down here as well. But of course to build castles we kind of need to stop hemorrhaging money, and to stop hemorrhaging money we kind of need to stop being at war every five minutes. In some way, it's only fair that we get dragged into their war. They've been pretty good otherwise. Plus, I like the fact that this is showing us being occupied by France. Let's try and join in there. Help them don't go out. Although, it doesn't look like we actually need us. Still. Doesn't hurt to help. I don't recognise the name. I was fighting them when I was uh, conquering Benin, I think. Maybe we can even uncover a few more lands. You never know. Oh! Okay, I made peace with Darth. Oh, the war's over! Oh, fantastic! want. Peaceful, happy ending. Well, I mean, it's probably not a very happy ending for the losers, but, uh, you know. tempted to join these lands up, but at the moment let's focus on Europe, because it has been a while.
So yeah, so we've got Spain because we need colonies. That does get Brazil involved, but not Great Britain. But Ottomans will join in against Spain. And we've got Austria, and the Ottomans will also join in with, as will Bohemia. We've got a lot of stuff we want to take from them. Possibly even some stuff from their allies as well. And then just as a wild card, we've got Holland, which would also drag Austria in, but we wouldn't have the Ottomans. So, yeah, it's probably worth weakening Austria, really. But it's probably not going to be this time, unfortunately. Because, <laughs> yeah, we're <laughs> already quite a way into it. Uh, right, so what else? Make an overclaim on Brazil proper. And another claim on you guys. Not too worried, really. France Antarctique is actually quite formidable now. But we do want to take their land from them as much as we can. Milan. Of course, Milan's the other option, although it does involve fighting Bohemia, which is never fun, seeing as they're our ally and a decent one. Kind of prefer the idea of fighting Austria with the Ottomans and Bohemia and Scotland than fighting Milan on me. I'm sure they'll be fine. I mean, we won't have any problems either way, but. seems like a better opportunity. Ooh, actually using nationalism against Holland. Uh, rush of colonists, that's brilliant. Extra colonists, please. Yeah, so that's basically because we have a culture group that includes Holland. Actually, I haven't checked cultures for a while. We might be able to promote another one. We can. Teluga and Piedmontese. Piedmontese might be good because that's Italian. Yeah, might help us move into Italy. Although we might want to look at Teluga as well, possibly. We'll see. Okay, I think this is another one where uniting will get us the colony faster. So we should go with that, given the option. Slightly disappointing general. How many generals can we have? Oh, we're at our force limit now. That's good. No longer losing money because we've exceeded it. Yeah, we can have at least two more generals. So this one is only one star. Let's see if we can No, we cannot. Okay, fine. Just have to lump it. Right, so I think that is us in position for now. It's not ideal, we still haven't managed to upgrade our castles. Yeah, let's just pause there. <coughs> Sorry. But we kind of solidified things. I feel like um, we're much healthier as a country now. I really, really wish the legitimacy would go up. Supposed to be changing every year. Not totally sure how to get rid of the discontent, but we'll see. Just give it time. Just keep going, I suppose. I'm sure our war exhaustion should be completely down. And we don't want to hold up too much longer if we can avoid it. So, yeah, we do need to make sure we are keeping good relations with everyone. French Peru is getting a little low there. If I can probably spare a diplomat for French Peru now, really. Especially as they get bigger, we're probably going to um, be hitting the age of revolution soon. It's the age of absolutism. But yeah, it's going to be a question of fighting to keep hold of all our subjects at that point including colonial nations. I haven't actually checked on Burgundy as an option. 
Still have to fight Austria though. So yeah. Similar to Holland, but not as much to guess to gain. I'm guessing Austria will be better because we could finally take Calais. So that would be a good start. So yeah, hopefully we can actually do that next time. Our manpower pool is still low, but not disastrously low. And with all the allies as well, and the fact that Austria's allies don't seem to be that formidable at the moment, it's actually a pretty good opportunity to take them. Going to have to decide which way we want to do things. Like there are a bunch of alternative caster spellers we can use, which we haven't really looked at much. You see this 100% aggressive expansion, 100% prestige, 100% cost versus imperialism where it costs less and you have less aggressive expansion so it might be worth us doing imperialism even though we have claims the claims will probably still help us in the sense that it won't cost as much to call them but it looks like imperialism might not cost as much to call them either oh and then we've got nationalism of course which is even better so we could take Callan with nationalism the only problem is it might stop us from taking more but then, might be worth it. Maybe we should go with nationalism. Decide that next time. But yeah, I mean, it's not... It wasn't the best episode ever in a lot of ways. But we've been good allies to the Ottomans, which isn't a bad thing. We've held on to our claims in India. Which was important. Because I'm concerned that if we ever actually get kicked out, we will never have another opportunity. So we are going to want to solidify that. It looks like Bahamanis is less powerful now. VJ Anagar has made a bit of a comeback. Although we could still in theory go for Bengal if we have the claims. But that's going to be far in the future. And we haven't really had any uprisings in South America. And the Inca finally seems to have learned, now they're down to a two-province nation, that maybe attacking France is not the best idea. We've had um, subsidies on a load of our colonies, which sadly don't seem to have actually done much with the subsidies. Still need to keep an eye on this. Might need to colonise it ourselves. And really need to do something about Pacifico Norte. Hmm, yeah. Sorry, just sort of thinking ahead. Need to keep an eye out here as well. Maybe even think about doing some manual colonisation. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, hopefully next time we will actually attack Austria. Maybe with nationalism and at least take Calais, a couple of other places. Possibly take land from their allies if we happen to have claims. But the main objective will be to weaken them. Like it might even be worth strengthening Bohemia if we can, because they're a pretty good ally. Not that keen to strengthen the Ottomans because they're kind of strong enough as it is. <laughs> Even though they're not a direct competitor to us. Who knows? As we both get bigger, they might end up being our only possible rival and we might be forced to rival them. We can happen. But yeah, I'm going to leave it there for now. So yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.